Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this semi-natural French Mani using Madame Glam gels, as well as showing you how to temporarily repair a split nail with a tea bag. Yep. So I just shake the tea to the bottom, cut the top off, and then cut the tea bag to size. Ideally, you want to cut a strip that will completely cover the split and a little bit of the surround as well to work as an anchor of sorts. So just size it up and keep adjusting it to fit the nail until you're happy with it. Once you're happy with your nail band-aid, use a buffer to even out the surface of your nail and also rough it up for adhesion at the same time. Then I'm taking some old nail glue I had and painting it over the split. And I let it dry a little bit until it's tacky and not too fluid. And then I apply the nail band-aid with some tweezers just so I can't glue my fingers together because that's not fun. So I've heard. Then I apply more nail glue, just enough to saturate the rest of the band-aid to your nail. And I'm just using a cuticle pusher to gently press the tea bag into the glue just to make sure that there aren't any bubbles or parts that are raising up. Then once it's dry it should look something like this, at which point I just buff it again and it's ready to be painted. Now it's time for the fun part, the French manicure. I'm using two colours for the nail tips just to show you the options. Madame Glam's Perfect White and then their Shimmer White on the thumbs just for a subtle sparkle. So in order to take these sad looking things to this polished looking pole, we're going to need to prep them first by roughing up the surface of the nail gently with a buffer again and this helps the gel adhere to the nail surface. Now that we're done with that, I'm taking some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad to remove any nail dust and to prep the nails by slightly dehydrating them at the same time. Um, oils are not your friend in this situation. Then I just check for any cotton pad fuzzies and go ahead and apply the base coat. I prefer to do a thin coat and be really precise and thorough with the application, making sure that the entire nail bed only is covered. And then I repeat this on the rest of the nails, the pinky was my test nail, that's why I'm not doing that one. And I bake it under the LED lamp for 30 seconds. LEDs are quicker and much safer than UV bulbs, so it's definitely worth looking into, and I'll link my one below. Then it's time for the tips, so I'm taking perfect white and starting to paint the white tip onto my nail. Now you can do this by wiping from outer edge to middle, or you can do it vertically like I am. The Madame Glam brushes are perfect for this method, especially because they are square and firm, so you can be very precise, but just do it whichever way you find it easier. And make sure you butt the colour right up to the edge of the nail because it's better to go over a bit than not quite get there because we can always clean it up later. I then clean it up with an orange stick wrapped in a little bit of cotton wool and dipped in acetone and then I go back in and perfect the nails again. And I'm only doing one coat of this because I think it looks slightly more natural and less brash and we're ready to cure it for another 30 seconds before our top coat goes on. Now I like to apply the top coat a little bit thicker but I am very careful not to get it on the skin surrounding the nail. This is what will make your manicure last longer and not lift around the edges and I think this is why salon manis always last better because it's the attention to detail. Then I cure it for a final 30 seconds and we're ready to remove the tacky layer with an alcohol soaked cotton swab for a final time. Now our fingers are done, it's time for the thumb, and I always do my thumbs separately so that I'm able to hold my fingers or thumbs flat as they're curing. So the same as before, I am applying a base coat and curing it for 30 seconds. Then I do the tip as before, but this time I'm using the Shimmer White, 
And this is really pretty across all of the nails to add a little extra sparkle, but I just wanted to show you both options. Then I cure it for 30 seconds again and do a second coat just because it's not quite as opaque as the perfect white. You guessed it, clean it up and cure it for another 30 seconds. Then it's time for the top coat, a final curing for 30 seconds and we're done. Once I've removed the tacky layer, I like to add an oil around the nails to nourish and apologize for all the buffing. And I'm using the Pure Adore Nail Therapy, which I have a video on that I'll link below. And I like to apply this around the cuticle as you can see, but I also like to wipe it beneath the nail end, um, just because I think my skin gets a little bit dry under there because it gets forgotten about. So this is the finished product. I really do love Madame Glam gels and it's awesome to find such a good vegan gel product that works so well so I had to share my new favourite manicure with you. I'll link everything I use below along with any discounts I can find and any previous nail videos if you came here specifically for that. Um, tell me something in a comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye!